Hello everybody, welcome to the Asia Heat Show. My name is Armin Hussain and earlier I was having a football discussion with my mate Rob for the second time to discuss about Liverpool win the league, who's going to face top four this season, potentially who will win top four next season and also who will get relegated. Without further ado, hope you enjoy it. Well, first of all, Rob here, we are talking about the Premier League. Liverpool have won the league for the first time in 30 years. One of the greatest feelings ever. I can actually say now that I've lived to see Liverpool win a title. What do you reckon, man? You know what? Amazing. It's amazing that Liverpool have won. I can't believe it. I, do you know what? The thing is, they've deserved it. They've played the best. I've uh, 23 points clear. That's yeah. amazing. Um, it's mad. It's mad. I Honestly. mean, you've been a Liverpool fan. You... Yeah, yeah. The, the, you know, the, the only criticism I've got for Liverpool, and this, this is debatable, is that I, I, they could have gone for another couple of trophies. Well, what you do know. you reckon, though, Robin? Back in the day, beginning of the season, it was a Super Cup. In January, it was a Club World Cup. And then it was a Premier League. They've won three trophies this season. That's good. But I think they threw away a couple of trophies. Like, they the Capital One Cup um, and uh, and the FA Cup, really. I think they didn't... Because in, in my opinion, I think I said this before, Liverpool could have done half and half. Half for the League Cup and half go to the, club, the World Cup. Um, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe they wouldn't have got it. You just don't know. But um, that's my opinion. I mean, they lost against Aston Villa. I don't remember that was the Capital One Cup or the FA Cup. But we've already mentioned this one before. Yeah, it was. They all were ready for the Club World Cup and most of their squad was in another country. I, I don't know. I think they took it quite lightly. But overall, they've done, they, they have been the best. Um, I, mean, I, they lightly, been really mate. I feel like next season, they're going to probably concentrate more on winning maybe an FA Cup and a Capital One Cup as they won the Champions League, they won the Premier League. Those are probably the trophies I haven't gone for yet. I'm not being funny. They'll, they'll be up there in the league next year. They can win it next year. But um, I, I will say this. I think City, the, re, the reason why I'd go City next season is because um, they have no European football, um, potentially. That's why. And yeah, City that, just focusing on the league. Mm. Mentioning that, I'll probably say that Man City not having a European football next season it's true, they're probably going to concentrate even more further in the league. And that makes them more likely to potentially win the league next season. But then again, though, Liverpool, yeah. that's what yeah. they are, I reckon that they're definitely going to be up there to, call, to title contender with them and even probably win it themselves. I agree. And do you know what? The problem with City is they win a game 5 0 and then they lose 2 1 or 1 0. They've done it against, they beat Burnley, this was recently, they beat Burnley 5 0 and they lost Chelsea 2 1. I mean, if they carry, if they keep playing like that, Liverpool will win it again. I, I, I think they can do it again. But we don't know. See, uh, you know, it's a long time for the season, the f next season. So you just have to wait and see. Yeah, I mean, I'd go with City. I, I feel like it will still be another title between City and Liverpool next season. I mean, at the moment, the whole Premier League is probably City and Liverpool are the two top teams there at the moment. I agree. Yeah, by, they're by far the best. And I'd, I'd say probably if, uh, behind them, I'd say it's Chelsea, Man United. And do you know what? Leicester and Wolves as well. They play, they're playing really well. Yeah. Oh, no. You've got Chelsea, you've got Leicester. People say Man United. Who do you reckon is going to be in top four? And who do you reckon is going to finish top four this season, actually? For, well, for this season, definitely. Um... Of, other than Liverpool and Chelsea, uh, sorry, other than Liverpool and City, Chelsea will definitely get third. I'm pretty much sure of that. Um, fourth place, I would go with United over Leicester. I don't think Leicester are playing well since the break. The break's not done them any good at all. Um, but uh, I would go Man United or even Wolves to finish above Leicester. Some, something about Leicester, I just I don't think they'll do it. I think seven, Leicester won't get European football, but... They, there's seven games left, though, isn't it? Eh? Seven games left, I think it is. Exactly. 
that that's a yeah. And if Leicester keep up their form that like they've done in the last three games or so, they won't get top four because it's get they had a massive. They've had every opportunity to go points clear, and they haven't. Um, oh, I don't know, man. I just think I feel like never... Leicester are probably going to get back up there. I mean, I don't think that they're going to just drop off and then give it to United or even Wolves. I don't see that happening personally. I I I can see it happening. I I got to disagree with you there because Le- if Le- Leicester as well, you if you look at their recent results, they've been disappointing. Overall, they have had a really steady season. They've always been up there, but they're tailing off at the wrong time. And other teams are. Upping the antics, such as Wolves, Man United, um, and Chelsea. Chelsea, are, I, I think, to be honest with you, I think they're a certainty to finish above Leicester, even though they're still behind them. I think they'll finish above them easily. Watford defeated Liverpool to end their undefeated streak. Just let you know. Yeah, but but Watford, Watford are in a relegation scrap. Luton, uh, sorry, not Luton. <laughs> Leicester should be putting these teams away. And Brighton, where are Brighton? 15th in the league, you know? And there, Leicester were, you know, in third then. That's not good enough. And I'll give you, I think we played a, maybe a couple more. Um, because yesterday, Chelsea beat them 1 0. I saw that game. So it was them. And then was that, that was in the Brighton. cup, wasn't it? Yeah, Drew against Watford, beat Villa. I think that was before the, that was before the pandemic, though. So, they haven't, yeah, it's true what you said. They haven't won yeah. the cup, have they? They'd be drawing or losing. Yeah, I'll, I'll get you Man United's results up and the Wolves, and they're, they're, they're racing ahead. They're yeah, catching Man, up. Man United, though, I mean, that, that game against bloody Norwich in the FA Cup, that's just embarrassing. I'm sorry. Did you watch it or not? It's, it's not embarrassing. They got through. I did watch it. Um, Norwich were really good. Uh, Tom, Tim Krull was amazing in that game, by the way. He was great. In my yeah, he was. But like, what I'm saying is, right, if you want yeah, to yeah. see that Man United are like a top team and they're doing this, that and the other, for them to go all the way to extra time against Norwich only to score last minute, I'm sorry, but that's a team that in, is in the relegation zone they probably are going to get relegated this season. I, I, I agree with you in a way. They should have put them away. And you should have put them away, really, um, in 90 minutes. But they somehow didn't. But at the same time, they got the job done. Do you know what I mean? They didn't, it didn't go to penalties. They didn't get knocked out. They got the job done. So at the end of the day, does it matter? They got into extra time, though. So. But they got the job done, though. They're not out. They're still there. You know, it's not a league game, it's a cup game. That's why it doesn't matter as much. But I agree with you, they should have won that game. They should have won it in 90 minutes. Um, yeah. I've got to tell you this, though. What do you think of Sheffield United? They're not They're not going to get fifth for all European yeah. pilots is it anymore. No, they're not. I think ever since the first game where they got that goal disallowed against uh, Villa, I think, that was when... You thought, oh no! But now top four, though I still personally no, think, I don't. I still think top four personally would be Liverpool, City, Chelsea, Leicester. That's why I think it'll be this season. I don't, yeah. I don't see like Man United or Wolves like going all the way up there to top four. If they do that, then fair enough. But I just don't see that happening. I'm sorry, but I just don't. Mm. Next season, top four. Mm. Um, you go first. You go first, Ahmed Hussain. All right, I'll go. I don't want to say it, but I'll say Man City first, Liverpool second. Really? Yeah. <gasps> You've gone against your team. I can't believe that. Really? No, you think? It's, like, it's like what you said, right? They've got no European football. So because they've got no European yeah, football, I think they'll win it. The Prem. And the fact that Liverpool beat yeah, them I think. season to the Prem, I don't feel like they're going to just drop off and be like that. Nah. You know, we're just going to hand that Liverpool the title again this season. I feel like they're going to buy quite a few players this season and then um, just make sure they don't repeat the same mistakes twice. So I reckon they're, they're going to finish first place. But it ain't going to be like they're going to batter everybody and get up there. It's going to be very, very tight between Liverpool and City again next season. So that's why I personally think it'll only be the difference of being only about a couple of points. That's what I personally think. So it'll be them first, Liverpool second. Chelsea third, and then fourth place will be. Hmm, probably United. Do you know what? 
I, I would agree with you. I'd agree with that whole top four. I think I think you're spot on. I would agree. I don't know what to say. The only maybe, I don't know. I don't know. If Wolves ah oh, Wolves is Wolves home form was it's not been great this season. But they're away. If they get there, if they match their away form to their home, sorry, if they match their home form to their away form, they could be up there. But just to be honest with you, I think the top four will be exactly that. I don't think Tottenham or Arsenal are good enough. I think I think Wolves will finish above Arsenal next season and potentially Tottenham. Um, yeah, I agree. I think that's a good one. Arsenal, Arsenal. I think they're going to get Europe. They will get Europa League next season. Who Arsenal? And Spurs, I think I think they're both going to get Europa League. You think so? Yeah. What about Everton? What about Everton? I don't know. Everton, that, I mean, they got Ancelotti as a manager. They've got a decent squad, but for some reason, Everton's that sort of team where, like, they get decent players and they've actually got some fairly all right players nowadays. But for some reason, they're like, they're like Milan in... in uh, yeah, yeah, they are. They, the thing is, they start off so poorly as well. They've done it this season and I think the last season as well. It's they start so that. low, don't it? It's not only that, though. It's like they buy, they buy all of these players and they're not even buying them for that cheap either. They're buying quite a lot, you know, to, to buy loads of expensive players. And despite that, they, they're still getting up mid-table. They, if, for a team that they've got right now, it's so, I don't know, under the potential that the team has, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, possibly. Okay. So, where would you predict them next season to finish, roughly? Six or seven. Really? So, quite high up? Next season, yeah. If they, Because the thing is, is like, Ancelotti is the manager. You've got players like that Gomez. You've got Moyes Keane, who didn't really play that great this season, but still, he is a decent talent. You've got that left back, that Digno, whatever. You've got all of those Barcelona rejects that they've brought. That are in that squad, you know, you, they're probably going to buy even more players yeah. of that kind of caliber that couldn't really hack it in the other leagues or the other teams that they played for. And um, yeah, just have a look at that starting lineup of uh, Everton. You can't say that that's a really bad team. But then again, though, it's like, do you remember Newcastle voted got that takeover? Newcastle could potentially be up there as well next season. Yeah, yeah, you could be right. Yeah, new, they're a dark horse at times. Yeah, so yeah. In, in that mid table okay. sort of uh, area, you've got you've got like, in my opinion, you've got Everton, you've got Wolves, you've got Newcastle coming up there as well. You've got Palace as well. Yeah, uh, m- maybe Palace. I don't see Palace doing that great next season. I'm not gonna lie to you. I would. Uh, Palace. Are, do you know what? I saw Palace against Bournemouth in the first game back, and they were really good. Palace. They were really, really no, good. They have and their games. They, had... they have their games, but they're not that consistent. Yeah, yeah, not for... May, maybe, I think Crystal Palace, Burnley, Southampton are at the same sort of level. Southampton probably. are not the team that they used to be because all their best players have all been no, the same team. No, Everyone no. else. <laughs> Liverpool. Know. Yeah. Liverpool, Liverpool man. It'll be something. Uh, I mean, to be honest with you, though, like, in this summer, Lallana's probably going to leave. Lovren's going to leave. Klein's there, already left as well. That's all the Southampton players. The only ones they're going to keep now is going to be um, you know, Van Dijk and Mane. And those were probably like the two key players that they've got from Southampton. Relegation scrap this season. Who's who's gonna go down? The three. Villa, Norwich, Watford. Oh <gasps> you think Villa, Norwich, Watford? You think Bournemouth are gonna stay up? Yeah. Really? I don't see Bournemouth get relegated now. Bournemouth gonna stay up. It'll be it'll be Watford, Villa and um yeah. Uh, what about West? What, do you, what about West? West Ham. That's a shout, you know. Yeah, West Ham are going. Uh, I'll get it down there. I don't know. I feel like West Ham will just about survive it. I think West Ham will stay up. It's going to be. It, can I tell you? I'll, it'll be between West Ham and Watford, though. The third one, in my opinion. Really? So you think Bournemouth are going to get away? Out yeah, of the Nor- Norwich and Villa. They're they're nailed down to get relegated, in my opinion. They're both just not good enough. All right. All right. I'm I'm going to say this. I think the bottom three, I'll explain it as well. The bottom three will stay as it is. I think, personally, Norwich are down already. Villa, I don't think are good enough. Bournemouth, I think will, I think Bournemouth will get 19th. I, don't, I think they're the second worst team in the league. 
I think they've had their time in the Premier League and I think it's over for them. That I'll seems say, really harsh, but Borgham, I think it is. Borgham, I, th- Borgham stay up, in my opinion. I, reckon, I mean, if they don't... Then, well, but, but, again, if you... Again, if you look at Bournemouth's results, they've lost near enough every game. coming. I think they've lost every game coming back. But having said that, West Ham and Watford are not much better because they, they've, not, they've had a chance to move up the table and they haven't taken it. That's the problem um, because Watford and West Ham are both teams that they should be a lot more better than what they are. I think the three will stay as it is. West Ham and Watford, they shouldn't be like in the relegation zone. They should be in the table. They should be up there yeah. with the... With the um, Sheffield United with the Wolves, you know, yeah. that sort of yeah, yeah. Burnley as well. That's what it should be. Yeah, yeah they just haven't been performing that well, and uh, it's a bit unfortunate. But that's okay. The, the Premier League now has gone to a point where, like, every team in my right, in, in my opinion, have all got a decent calibre that if they were in any other league, they could probably hack it. But the Premier League is now becoming even more competitive. I, mean, I think de- Leeds will definitely win the league. I'm sure of that. Yeah, and uh, the thing is with Leeds, right, don't forget, they've got all that history. They used to be a very, very good team. They used to be contending for the top four all the time. So they've got that history on them as well. Not to mention as well, they've got somewhat of a takeover. They've always been one of the stronger teams in the Championship with Gunners out long as well. I reckon that when they get in the Premier League, they're going to be more, um, what's it called, uh, not suitable, but more like, of value for Stronger. players, to, yeah, more more valued for players to come yeah. down to, to join that team, and they yeah. would they'd be thinking that oh we want to get Leeds back to where they used to be. Mm. I don't think they're gonna yeah. get. I don't see them just getting relegated. I reckon they're gonna be even if they do get relegated, they're definitely gonna be floating mid table for the next like two three seasons, and then if they drop off, they get relegated. But I don't I don't know. I don't see it happening because it's about time that Leeds finally get up there, you know, back in the Prem. In yeah, the years, I don't know it, the way that they're going and the way that they've been like looked after as a squad and uh, as a club because of the owners and that. In a few years, I do see them being a, a really decent team. Maybe not top four, you Europe, but you know, like European yeah. football, like Europa, Europa League. Europa League, I can see them getting Europa League in a couple of seasons. 